Today, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw and shade Tupac Shakur. You should be able to get a strong likeness of Tupac even if you're new to drawing. Just listen to the instructions and pause the video at the end of each step. I'm going to do something slightly different but very helpful for the shading part of this video, so be sure to stay tuned after the step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Step 1. Let's start off with a difficult but somewhat unimportant step. Draw in two crescent moon shapes to make the hat. Notice all of the smaller shapes within the hat shape and their placements. Don't panic if your hat drawing from this step is not perfect. It's not a part of the likeness. Step 2. Take extra time on this step. The eyes are the key to the likeness. First, notice that Tupac's eyebrows are very thick. Then, notice their placement compared to the bottom of the hat. After the eyebrows are set, notice that the eyes are one eye length apart from each other. Observe how closed the eye shape is as well as the placement of the pupil and iris. Finally, notice the upper eyelid fold, which is close to the eye, and the lower eyelid fold, which is slightly further away. Step 3. Add the line for the bottom of the nose and the ears. Be sure to notice the placement of the nose compared to the eyes, and be sure to see that the ears go from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose. Step 4. Out of everything that I just added, the most important feature is the chin line. Take some extra time to observe its placement. As for the sweatshirt, add it, but don't sweat it. Step 5. Add Tupac's mouth and facial hair. Notice that the bottom lip is crescent moon shaped and much thicker than the top lip. Also, notice that the corners of the mouth line up with the midpoints of the eye. Here is a close up so that you can get the teeth. Welcome to the shading part of the video. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. We are going to build dark tones with illustration marker and it's going to save us a lot of work. Uh, you're working with a very fine tip when you use a pencil and the markers have um, a much wider tip. Uh, in fact, if you put it at a certain angle, it, it has a lot of covering power. Uh, but what you just saw me do, I'm using uh, the number one cool gray marker. It's important that you remember cool gray. Warm gray won't work as well uh, when you're doing a black and white picture, uh, at, at least with faces. Um, but uh, I started, I just covered the face with number one, and I'm working my way up to number five. I'm not going any darker than five. Um, and this is this is going to save me a ton of work because really this is a very very dark picture. Um, Tupac, Tupac has um, dark a dark skin tone and he's in shadow, and that combination is uh, a lot of cross hatching. So what I'm doing instead is I'm getting the dark parts in. I'm slowly working my way from one to five. If you've used illustration markers before, that will make sense to you. If not. Probably not, but basically the way that you get tones uh, with um, illustration marker is just uh, is with the grays, and you're given warm grays, neutral grays, and cool grays. I'm just using the cool grays for this, and I'm going to hatch right on top of it with the pencil. I'm not abandoning the pencil. I'm going to hatch right on top of it with the pencil, but this gets all of the dark values out of the way and I can just jump right in instead of just working my way up uh, just with an HB pencil all the way to an 8B pencil I have these tones um, existing already and it's going to be very very helpful so now you're seeing me uh, finish the marker part um, and this is uh, these are the products that I use uh, Ed Chart Pack markers and Prismacolor markers uh, hit the link in the video description if you want uh, more information on them. Um, I'll, these are the exact markers that I was just using a second ago. Uh, but uh, I'll write a short article for you. I know I get a lot of questions, you know, what supplies do you use? Um, this will cover that, so I hope you check that out. Now, back to what we're very, very familiar with. Um, you know, at least those of you who have been following my videos to this point. Uh, I am now building tones directly on top of this, uh, you know, with regular pencils. Uh, that's a 6B pencil that you're seeing me use, 
and I'm working on the eyes just like I normally would do. But again, you know, I, I was given a head start by those markers, and that's the great thing about that. Uh, it sometimes gets very annoying and monotonous uh, to uh, to shade something when it, you know you're going to be shading forever to get those dark values. This is a great way uh, that you can speed things up. It's a nice illustrator trick um, that I've been using uh, for years. Uh, only problem with it is that you cannot erase the markers. You can erase the pencils, uh, but um, I I still I still use that uh, quite a bit. I've I've gotten used to it. It takes some practice, but I've gotten used to it. Uh, but now I'm just I'm jumping right in. Like I said, creating the highlight with the eraser on uh, on our right hand side of the face, his left hand side, just a nice little soft highlight. And I erased it. I went I really pressed hard with the eraser there, but you only see. A little bit of a, um, a highlight there because I went with such a dark marker tone underneath. So it's like there's an existing layer underneath. I'm using the paintbrush as well. Um, so I'm doing hatching right on top of the marker, and now I am uh, I'm, I'm smoothing out the hatching with the paintbrush. And I'm looking at my reference image. Still doesn't look right. It will look right. I always make sure that I have um, you know, the face covered, even if it's a highlight, and then I go back uh, with the eraser uh, to kind of carve in the shapes with the highlight. That's important. And there we go. It looks a lot more natural now. You're also going to see me, just at the end, use a white charcoal pencil. I'm using white charcoal because it goes a lot better than um, a, a white colored pencil, which is uh, made of wax. Um, it, it's very, uh, the charcoal is more similar to the graphite. I'm not using it yet. I'll point out when I'm using it. The left hand side of his face, um, you know, the side on our right uh, was just almost totally in shadow. And, you know, that's a challenge. That's a big challenge. And you don't want it to be just like a um, an abrupt transition. You want it to be a nice, smooth transition. That's what I am working on right now. The clothing, um, you know, it, it also helped me get the nice folds in the clothing. You have to be careful not to get carried away, especially when you're doing a portrait because you want people to look at the face. And the eye always goes to the area where there's the most variety in tone. Um, and I just, uh, I, I always want to make sure that it's the face. I mean, that's not to say that there can't be a variety in tones on clothing, in clothing, but, um, you know, I really want everybody looking at the face. Use the kneaded eraser a little bit uh, on the forehead. Anywhere that I need to carve uh, into uh, you know, the, the erasing, and anywhere I need to erase a shape, um, I, I still use the uh, the back of the pencil eraser. Those work great. I started to use, um, it, it was really quick, but I started to use the uh, white um, charcoal pencil uh, on his nose ring. You're going to see me use it in his shirt in a second. And I'm putting the finishing touches on. There we go. That's it. And we are about done. And I'm making sure that that uh, side of his clothing is in shadow. All right, so that's that. Um, I, I have a bunch of playlists. I have uh, my own artwork, which I got to say doesn't get enough hits. Hint, hint. Um, I also have um, all of my tutorials uh, with the one with the eye new channel and of course the uh, the new channel is art morphs and of course uh, the subscribe so you know if you haven't done so already please subscribe try to give you guys a lot of good information that's helpful anyway thank you for watching the video